I've decided that I'm a good person and that I deserve good things to happen to me and therefore I've decided that I'm going to pamper myself as much as possible I'm going to look for as much fun I'm going to look for as much fulfillment I'm going to look for as much ease I'm going to follow my ease I'm going to follow my bliss I'm going to follow my flow I'm going to follow the good feeling I'm going to get let the good times roll I'm going to have a lot of fun I'm going to hang around with people that are fun to be with I'm going to look for reasons to feel good I'm going to keep a diary of good feeling things I'm going to call it my book of positive aspects I'm going to get a box I'm going to call it my creation box I'm going to throw all kinds of good stuff in it and I'm going to proclaim it as mine I'm going to accept the reality of this vibrational reality and I'm gonna go there as often as I can I'm gonna bask when I find myself basking I'm gonna milk it with everything that I've got I'm gonna look for other people that are doing the same I'm gonna trust that law of attraction is gonna cue me up with them I'm gonna feel less responsible to fewer people I'm not gonna let other people make me feel guilty about what I'm doing here are some things about Monte Carlo Monaco that you probably didn't know one out of three people living here is a millionaire and no i didn't find one in case you're wondering getting there is so easy i took the train and it was only five euros with great views there is also illegal for citizens to gamble there nikki beach rooftop has the best views drinks and the food is so amazing of course you're gonna see a bunch of luxury cars but the shopping isn't that great for tax back Hey everybody, it's Abigail. Here's a better look at the hotel that went viral. La Fortuna at the line. It starts at $99 a night. There was the room and here is the bathroom. Um, it also comes with free breakfast, water activities like kayaking. And it's just a great place to chill, relax in the pool before you start your trip on the lake. Hey y'all and welcome to another day in my life. After my boyfriend kicked me out of the house so he could move in his new baby mama, I decided to try online dating. I went to sugardaddies.com and I found this rich Arab man who said he would fly me out to Dubai. He claims there were no more seats left in Emirates first class so he flew me Delta One which was pretty nice but not as nice as Emirates. During the flight I watched movies and did a full background check on him. It said that he'd only been arrested five times, so I think things were looking pretty good so far. I landed safely and my driver took me to my hotel to get ready and then I met him at Dinner in the Sky, which is literally exactly how it sounds. You're on this big platform with chefs in front of you and they cook while you're in the middle of the sky. I figured this would make the perfect first date because if we didn't get along, I could just grab his wallet and push him off the platform. Luckily, I didn't have to do that tonight, but we'll see how the rest of the trip goes. Bye, y'all. I'm glad you asked. There's still a ton to do in St. Lucia. You get this band if you're vaccinated and you can rent a car and roam freely. This was my first villa that I won for free. I talk about it on my Instagram. I got to eat KFC, roam through the capital of cash trees. Next, we hit up the botanical garden where you can see all of these exotic plants. Here's the waterfall, me and my bestie. Next, we went to the waterfall and had main character moments, of course. Make sure you check out the vendors and purchase from them. Next, we hit up the sulfur spray. It's so nourishing for your body. Make sure you start with the white mud and decorate with the black mud. We went to local businesses in Souffre, checked into our next hotel. We even got to make chocolate from scratch with Hotel Chocolat. Here's me mixing it up and this is my chocolate bar and cold chocolate milk. Next, we headed to our sunset crew where the views were amazing. Here's me eating and having a drink with the sunset. Of course, you gotta hit up the beach. Hummingbird Beach is the best for views. Here's me relaxing at Hotel Chocolat. I wrote about this trip on my blog, link in bio. Things I wish I knew before my black ass went hiking in the Grand Canyon. I thought these horses were pets. On the Bright Angel Trailhead, you can ride them instead of walking down the Grand Canyon. Bring double the amount of water you think you need. That desert air is not playing games and you're always thirsty. Don't even hike this, y'all. Stay up top and admire the view. In the event that you didn't go to Paris already because this is so overdue, I would suggest you take a train ride to the south of France. My first stop was Biarritz, France, and it was so amazing. It's across the coast. I toured the entire south of France and it was absolutely awesome. Of course, you could do traditional things in Paris like the Eiffel Tower and all of that stuff, but Europe is relatively inexpensive to get around. And I would suggest getting on a train and going to see beautiful places like this castle that's nestled on a golf course. I also went ahead and did a beach day, got dressed up, got real pretty, took pictures, and just enjoyed my time across the south of France in addition to Paris. So while you're there, take a train ride somewhere, find a really cheap ticket, 
and go out and enjoy France. Person that's a frequent traveler or want to become one i'm gonna recommend the top six credit cards currently that you should probably look into they're based on travel the best overall travel card is the chase sapphire preferred this card is amazing pause and screenshot all of the benefits um this card is you you pretty much have to have like high 600s or 700 plus credit score and they pull um Experian for their main bureau and they can pull another one if your Experian does not include enough information so number one for my bougie travelers, this is the car that you want. This is gonna grant you access to majority of the airport lounges where you can chill and you don't have to be in just like a regular airport. Um, this is amazing, uh, amazing benefits and they pull Experian. But fun fact, if you already have an Amex card, they're not even gonna pull your credit. So this is a great card for bougie travelers. For my people who are just getting into travel credit cards and want to kind of learn how to what we call travel hack, which is ranking up reward points and converting them into travel miles. This is a really good starter um, travel card. It's the city premier card. Make sure your Experian credit report is in order before you apply for this card. Next card, I have to give it to the American Express Hilton Honors. So this is a, or I'm sorry, this is a hotel card. Um, though you do get other benefits on flights and restaurants and stuff, this card is primarily for those who travel in, like to stay at Hilton um, hotels. So pause and read the benefits. 
And again, just like any other Amex card, if you already have American Express, they're not even going to pull your credit when you apply. Um, but if you do not, they will uh, prioritize your Experian most likely. The next on the list is the American Express Gold card. The good thing about this card is uh, you don't really have to have a really high credit score. Like around 650 or above, they typically will approve you for this. Um, of course, your profile has to be in order. Uh, they will pull Experian, but of course, if you already have Amex, no more hard pulls ever. Uh, this is a really good restaurant-based car. So if you eat out a lot, order Uber Eats and DoorDash and stuff like that, this is going to be the card for you. And then for the last one on the list today, this is the Delta Sky Miles Reserve. So Delta Sky Miles has plenty of cards, but this is the best one that they offer. Uh, comes with the best sign-up bonuses and rewards. Pay attention to that annual fee. It is high. So if you do not fly frequently, I would not suggest this card at all. They do pull Experian. Um, and I've heard if you apply directly through the airline, uh, your chances of being approved are greater. Um, and of course, if you're already an American Express customer, no hard pulls. It's only, it's only going to be based on like the last 90 days of your activity on your current Amex card. So if you are a Delta lover like me for domestic flights, I prefer, prefer Delta. So this is my card that um, I currently travel with. But if you don't travel with Delta, then this card will not be worth it for you. Like you have to really like Delta to enjoy this. If I act rich on social media and you know me in real life, I beg you keep quiet. I cannot be poor online and offline. So if you are coming across this video, your algorithm has set you up for success because now you are officially part of the luxury women community. These are, um, this community is filled with women who require a luxurious lifestyle. So if you're not living it yet, you're about to live it. So go ahead and sprinkle some of those little whatever this emoji is. Go ahead and sprinkle. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a minute, minute, minute?